Uh, I guess I was introduced to al alkaline water, ionized water, about uh, in 2004. Uh, we were at that time. I and my wife, we were living in Detroit, Michigan, and um, we had a, a friend that was just like a family. He was like my dad's name was Michael Carney. Mike was dealing with um, a kidney failure and diabetes that he later found out he had after getting introduced to ionized water. And he, he's no longer here um, due to those um, those illnesses. And um, I, that water actually prolonged his life because the doctors had only given him a couple months to live, actually. When he finally got diagnosed, he, they claimed that his kidneys was only operating at about 15%. And um, when we moved here, I, I think when uh, my wife was really the, she was like the, um, the person that really was on Mike about um, taking the water and sticking to a regimen. And he was just like most people. He was listening to the doctors. They were trying to give him all these prescriptions and put him on dialysis and all this, you know, what they do. And uh, I really think had Mike just really embraced the whole uh, holistic way of living and, and, and stop trusting in the doctors and trusting in the results that uh, he would still be here today. You know, Mike was really the key in, uh, in all of this for me, for my wife, and really seeing him go through being in the hospital and then basically telling him, like, either you're going on dialysis or you're dead. And he didn't do it. He, he was... Uh, he overdosed on uh, red tartary juice, and ionized water. That's what got him out of the hospital. And um, Mike, Mike was uh, the reason that um, I really hit sitting here today, sharing this news with you guys. And he had a friend who was uh, out of Windsor, uh, Ontario, and uh, she had went down to this um, seminar, and, and uh, it had to do with ionized water. And when she got back, uh, her and Mike uh, were over in uh, Windsor for about a week. And uh, when he came back, uh, he was uh, so excited uh, about this, uh, being able to uh, kneel down. Uh, at that time, I was about in his early 50s, and uh, I guess he had some health challenges early on in his life and some arthritis issues. But when he came back, he, he really was in tears. Um, as to um, just on that water for seven days, how he was able to kneel down and touch his toes. That's something that he had been able to do for probably a number of years. And also um, what he had noticed and what we noticed was that his feet, um, they were cleared up. Um, if you all know anybody with, that is diabetic or people that just have like ashy feet, uh, he had a, a bad case of ashy feet, and let me tell you. But after that seven days um, on the ionized water, his feet had cleared up a lot, and that really, that really was the um, made me start to really look at it and uh, want to see what this ionized water was all about. I would say one of the most uh, beneficial things that I saw in myself was that I used to have a problem with acne and um, ingrown hairs. And uh, during that time, I was using ionized water, I was using acidic water to uh, wash my face. And um, I was drinking the water like 40 going north because what, what I noticed was with the water is when you drink it, unlike when you drink a spring water or a tap water, you don't feel, you kind of feel bloated with the tap water. But with the ionized water, it just kind of like, just, you don't even notice it. You just drink. I used to drink over a gallon of water a day, no problem. And um, I and also had allergies too, by the way, really bad. And um, so I was cleansing. I was doing everything I could just to try to get my health at peak performance. And all of a sudden, my skin cleared up. And I would say that um, my skin was at the. I mean, I didn't have any ingrown hairs. I didn't have acne. Um, it wasn't bad acne, but it was a noticeable. Um, I, I'm fully eradicated from allergy symptoms. Uh, it's been four years on this health quest, and I was at the time, five years ago, 
I was taking five allergy medications. Um, I was going to have shots uh, twice a week. Um, I was in the hospital at least twice a year from some sort of sinus or allergy related uh, illness. And now, I don't, I mean, if I came into contact with dust or pollen or anything like that, it was, I mean, I was in trouble. And um, Claritin or Benadryl, all of that stuff stopped working for me. It was, I didn't have a, any alternative but to go into holistic or way of living. And I, I attribute that to uh, ionized water for one. Coming up in an urban environment, you know, um, pop or soda is like the drink of choice amongst many youngsters. And also, um, even around the dinner table growing up as a child, I mean, you know, we drank pop. But the water wasn't really, uh, really emphasized. Unless, you know, your, your grandmother or something, you know, the old schools, you know, they, they always drunk plenty of water. I think that's why they, they live so long. And, uh, but nowadays you see people that, uh, from, you know, ages 12, 10 years old, 20 years old, uh, being diagnosed with kidney failure and um, all of these um, dehydration related illnesses. And I really think that it has to do with the lack of education for one on the types of water that we drink and also actually utilizing that knowledge when you have it and actually getting the water into your system and um, maximizing the full benefits from drinking uh, alkaline or ionized water. My wife, she noticed a, a huge difference in the water. She was becoming more uh, energized and at that time we were in some uh, my wife was uh, dealing with some court issues and we were kind of representing ourselves and she was up at wee hours in the morning and um, she stated that the water was actually one of the reasons why it would help her become more energized and uh, be able to take those long hours. If you're not drinking uh, the proper amounts of water and the right types of water, that that's really the key. I mean. You drink the bottled water out, out of, you know, this, this, this Sani's and all these other um, uh, bottled water companies. That's not to pick on those companies, but, I mean, we get what we can get. But um, that water is not even really regulated. I mean, it basically, it's just filtered tap water is what it is. I mean, if you really do your homework on it. And uh, distilled water... That's, you don't get nothing in that because they you basically boil all the minerals out of the water. Um, I, reverse osmosis, I mean the same thing. That the, the best thing on the, in this in this um, time that we in is, is ionized water. Um, if you on this planet, ionized water is what you need to help uh, add value to your uh, dietary needs. My benefits from ionized water is that. Um, I know that it's going to be one prime key factor in um, keeping and maintaining my health and um, making sure that um, I have flushed my system of all the toxins that uh, is out there because, uh, as you know, we're in a constant uh, battle to do that with the way uh, pollutants are rampant in the air, rampant in the food, and um, the, the water is the key. I mean, water is the source of life. And ionized water is uh, a special key, if you will. I mean, if you can't have an ionizer in your home, find somebody that's got one. Find a store that um, it sells ionized water. Use it. Um, it, it worked for me. Um, I would highly recommend it to anybody, um, whether you're healthy or you um, not so healthy. You know, I don't care how many vitamins you're taking. I don't care how many... Uh, uh, colonics you're doing, all those things. If you're not drinking the right amount of water and the proper types of water, it's a waste of time. So put your money into uh, purchasing an ionizer um, immediately because um, it's going to help you in ways that um, I can't even describe.